As white Europeans settled in North America in the 16th and 17th centuries, and millions of indigenous people died from famine and disease, the desire to profit from the natural resources available required exploitation of a new large and unpaid labor force. Extending the mass enslavement of Africans in Central and South America, Africans were brought to the United States in 1619 as a new source of labor. New England colonies were founded on ideals of liberty and freedom, but nonetheless embraced kidnapping, human bondage, and violent subjugation of black people, whose forced labor, trafficking, and enslavement fueled booming commerce like shipbuilding, manufacturing, insurance, and banking. Northern cities like New York City experienced massive commercial growth as their economies, like those based on Wall Street, were financed by the slave trade, and their streets, like Broadway, were built by enslaved people. Boston Harbor, the site of the Boston Tea Party, where protests for freedom sparked the American Revolution, was also a bustling commercial hub for human trafficking. Ships entering and leaving the port of Boston trafficked at least 27,000 kidnapped Africans. The trafficking and enslavement of kidnapped Africans funded the economy of every major port city on the eastern seaboard. As the enslavement of black people expanded, American slavery became a permanent generational status tied to race. A new, elaborate set of beliefs was created to codify, control, and subordinate black people. States and municipalities passed laws, formally rejecting the presence of free black people in their borders. Punitive laws were enacted, targeting black people both free and enslaved. The false idea that black people were inferior to white people, not fully human or evolved, dominated all areas of American life. This narrative allowed the United States Constitution to extol liberty and justice for all while denying millions of black people basic human rights. By the end of the 18th century, America was no longer a society with enslaved people. It had become a slave society. A shifting economic landscape and a growing outcry about the horrors of the Middle Passage finally led Congress to formally abolish the transatlantic slave trade in 1808. However, Slavery remained critical to an agrarian economy, especially in the developing South. The domestic slave trade emerged while trafficking of kidnapped Africans continued illegally for years. The transatlantic slave trade left a lasting mark on American life, and the narratives that emerged to support the trade set up central problems of racial hierarchy that continue to shape America today. <laughs> 